Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we've been getting a few showers today. Pleasant conditions. Not as dry as it has been, but still in some pretty good need of some serious rain. But the ground is not crunchy. So there is a slight improvement. Expect a few more showers today, but nothing that's really going to accumulate too much in the water tanks. Trade winds blowing. Pretty normal. And time flies, my friends. Hard to believe. It's been four years since I started this channel. A lot of you guys have been with the channel from the very beginning. And I'm most appreciative of that. So, yeah, how did it all start? And I consider you guys all part of the channel. And when I did start the channel, I told you guys I would continuously show you how some of this stuff that I've been incorporating to the off-grid lifestyle out here in Hawaii, how it continued to work. And if I had any problems, I would show you. And... That's what we're gonna do today. So four years ago, we were all in lockdown out here as you were wherever you are, locked down pretty hard. Nobody was going anywhere and we were just hunkering down, right? And at the same time, my lead acid battery bank, which I had relied on for many, many years, started to die out and I started researching real fast about what I was gonna replace those batteries with and lithium iron phosphate was coming around. Uh, it was different four years ago, right? As a lot of you guys know. And I just kept looking at these batteries. Wasn't as many as there are out there right now by a long, by a long shot, right? So yeah. And I finally pulled the trigger on one that I'd been looking at real hard. Decided to make the plunge. Didn't know anything about it, but never looked back. And this is the battery I settled on for the first time. And that's the Chin's 12.8 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Cost me a little over $1,300 by the time I had that shipped out here. <laughs> so times have changed. I looked online today and I found one for $5.99. And then because we were deep in the pandemic and didn't know when or if that thing would ever end, I decided I needed something to do. Decided I'd make a YouTube channel, document my journey with these batteries and living off grid. And of course, I love this battery so much that I quickly bought a second one. <laughs> Yeah, within a few weeks, I believe it was. I kind of forget now. It's been four years after all. So that's how it all started. So I started buying all kinds of equipment to make those new batteries rock and roll. I'd never had an MPPT solar charge controller, and I started with the EP Ever, and it worked very well. I had a few issues with it, which is why I eventually gravitated to the Victron. And I've got two of these now back here. The system has continuously grown. I haven't done much with it in the past couple of years, but over those first couple of years, I showed you guys, if you go back to those earliest videos, I didn't have all of this stuff involved with it. Got my inverter, which still runs. This system has been running 24-7 since the first day I hooked up the very first battery. And my solar array has grown as I've needed it to be, and now I've got it sized pretty much perfectly. It took me a little while when I first hooked up my very first charge controller here, uh, which would have been <laughs> this one. And I eventually did actually run two of those for a minute before I switched over to these. I only had 300 watts of solar out there and it wasn't quite keeping 
the battery's up to what I wanted. So I dropped in another one and now I have 500 watts coming through each charge controller and room to expand with the solar array if need be. But I've been holding real strong on this system. And as I've showed you guys many times, one of the reasons I really love the Victron is for this app to where, you know, you've got about 30 feet of range in general for the app to reach so I can be sitting pretty much anywhere in the house, take a peek at what's going on. Right now, as I showed you, it was a little cloudy out there, not a huge amount of sun coming in right now, but, you know, just we're taking a look at the uh, bottom string right now of 500 watts, and you can see that day in and day out, I'm just doing just absolutely fine. I can see what my usage has been. I can look at all of the values. Everything looks really good. And looking at the other string right now, getting a little bit more, but click onto the history again. Yeah. And I've got those two charge controllers tied into a network, so they're talking to each other all the time, keeping these batteries in tip-top shape. Four years strong now. I have not so much as had a little blip on the radar with these things. Still running strong. I expect them to just keep on going year after year. So yeah, when I bought that Chins, that was a hefty investment. Yeah, $1,300 or $1, for a, a battery. But as we all know the reasons, uh, that was not a huge expenditure for, you know, supplying all of your power needs, lots of storage. And then in the past four years, all we did was watch these prices go down, watch them go down, watch them go down. Like now, like I said, half the price as of today than what I paid four years ago. But I have no regrets from starting into lithium iron phosphate none whatsoever and of course if you guys that have been following the channel have known i've expanded beyond this they look as good as the day i bought them and i did wipe them off before i did this video <laughs> whereas i look a little older yet so they're aging a little more gracefully than i am so i will keep showing you these systems hopefully for the next four years and I will show you if there's ever a problem, but yeah, the first investment worked out well. And as you know, there's been a lot more added. Still loving them. Still super excited about how things have progressed in the solar industry. I wouldn't have it any other way. So yeah, four years, guys. Thanks for all the fun. Hope to be doing it for four more. Thanks for tuning in as always. You guys keep me straight. You've helped me so much. Pointed out all the errors I've made. Really appreciate that. Aloha everybody, have a great day.